or being out of step with divinity, or being out of step with doing the right thing, or being so out of step with that voice of spiritual intuition that we don't treat the things that we have with respect. When you treat your things with respect, you will see God. Pope John Paul II affirmed that the ecological crisis we face today is a moral issue. In other words, it's a question of each one of us, according to our own heart, doing the right thing. Another great environmental author, um, Bjorn Lomberg, um, he points out that the major problem of our world, the major problems continue to be um, hunger and po poverty. And although we've seen great improvements in these areas, feeding more people and feeding them better, that actually there continue to be millions of people who are hungry and billions of people who are under the level now they're in the poverty bracket. And why this is of importance to the well-being of our planet is, as he says, historical experience tells us that only when we are sufficiently rich can we start to think about, worry about, and deal with environmental problems. You know, what I think about when I read that is how difficult it is for me Maybe you've been in the same place. How difficult it is to think about anything else when my personal su survival is at risk. You know, when I'm not adequately fed, don't feel safe, not thinking about the planet at all. You know? I mean, we don't struggle as much in this country with hunger as other countries do, but certainly people face the problem of poverty, or maybe you've just been at a time when you've been stressed out about money. Could be right now. Or maybe you know a friend who didn't know where the next paycheck was going to come from, or whether the next paycheck was enough to cover all of the bills of our astronomically increasing cost of living. And during that moment, if you've been there or you've seen a friend, you know that in that moment it's very difficult to think larger than that, which is going on immediately. Which is why at the Center for Spiritual Living, we have such a firm commitment to teaching people about spiritual tools that they can use to bring order into their life, to manage the structures of their life, to shift into practices that yield a prosperous relationship, to learn how to give and to receive and to be well, so that out of that taking care of the structures, they can then begin to think beyond their personal survival, and then beyond their personal survival to take in their community, and then beyond their community to think of their country, and then beyond that, their planet, and see themselves as a large part of all that is. I'd like to complete this morning by reading the rest of yesterday's entry on respect. It goes like this. Never demand respect from others. Show respect for yourself. And then you won't have to fight or argue to get others to respect you. Give the very thing you want to receive in return. Respect others and you will see it being shown to you. And then it completes with these questions that are so perfect for us this morning with the topic we're looking at. Have you disrespected yourself? Have you disrespected others? Have you disrespected the planet? And if so, what can you do to correct the situation? I invite you to take a deep breath in with me. And as we exhale, we move into prayer. There is only one life, and that life is God's life. It's all life everywhere, perfect, endless, 
beginningless, timeless. It is beyond the life that I experience as a being on this planet. It's more than that. It's the idea that gave rise to this life. And as I look for words to describe this divinity, I realize that it is beyond every name and every title, every idea. And so I'm satisfied today to just call it the great all in all. Not separate or far off, but in me and as me, in us and as us. And today we make space in our thought to include in our planet, our world. And so we are turning with this prayer inward to see at the center of our world the divinity. saying that the planet is an idea in the mind of God. And as such, it has its root and its cause inside of perfection. And so we are harmonizing ourselves, each one according to our own inner agreement to do whatever is the next step to show an act of love for our world. as we pray this prayer together there is something moving in us the inspiration of the divine guiding us from within what to do, what to say, what to think what to know and so we yield to its wisdom and with gratitude in the heart and a sense of holiness in this moment and a sense of awesome gratitude for the ground upon which we safely stand. We breathe in together and exhale into silence. And once again, I invite you to take a deeper breath. So that as we exhale, we may use that exhalation as our transition to that part in our service where we participate by sharing. I ask the ushers to stand and for you to take your gift in your hand and say with me, I bless this gift. Bless this gift. I send it forth to heal and prosper. It does good work in the world. And so it is. One, two. One, two, three, four.